This video will show you three reality transurfing ideas that will totally transform your manifestation ability and how you go about creating what you want. I'm gonna share with you how to use them in a very powerful way. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three ideas that have totally transformed my life, totally transformed the way that I go about using the manifestation process. And it's also changed the uh, way I see the world, like the philosophy, because Reality Transurfing, as many of you know, it's a book that was written by a quantum physicist named Vadim Zeeland in Russia. And it's a book that has to do with manifestation in a very powerful way. But more so than that, it's also a philosophy or a way for seeing the world that when we start to adopt and we start to see things from this new perspective, changes everything. And the reason that is, is because our beliefs are what creates our reality. Everything on the outside is a reflection of the inner dialogue, of the inner beliefs, and this is a more proficient and a more effective process than that of the traditional law of attraction. Now, the reason that is, is because with reality transurfing, you're able to more easily resonate with the ideas. You understand how to balance out the energy in a powerful way. It really brings in the Eastern philosophy of understanding letting go and how to apply that as well as the process because as many of you know, letting go is such a powerful thing that you can do. So with this process, it's also the reason I'm making this video is because I'm also releasing the Reality Transurfing Academy. The launch of that program starts today and it's going to be a five day launch that ends on Friday. So this is a monthly membership program that will show you exactly step by step how to use reality transurfing in a very powerful way. You're gonna go through exercises, you're gonna get access to premium videos that show you exactly what to do. So this is a course that will show you how to transform how you manifest what you want and how to create from a much higher paradigm so that things come easily for you, so that you find that it's more natural for you to achieve, achieve your goals. And this is something that I think can absolutely transform your life. It's a monthly membership program that you can cancel at any time. And you're also gonna get access to me, to live Q and A's, to live coaching from me, helping you to get the results that you want. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, today's the first day to get to become a part of that. On Friday is when it ends. Go ahead and click on the link in the description box and you can go ahead and check that out. So with that being said, Let's get to the video. The first one that has totally transformed my life is understanding this idea of a wave of fortune. Now, a wave of fortune is talked about in the book because there is a certain momentum to the action that we take. There's a certain type of uh, focus that when we have, we start to create more and more of that because whatever we focus on in our life grows. Now, anytime maybe you feel like you're having a day, let's say you're having a day and things just start happening in the right way for you. Maybe you get up in the morning, you get a call that it's a very good call. Maybe it has to do with something, an opportunity that you were looking for. Maybe you get a text back from somebody you've been kind of thinking about and that triggers you and gets you into a better state of being. You start to feel like even better than you did before. And then since your increased state of being has just happened, you've just increased how you feel, you go out into the world or you go do something else and guess what? Something else happens that resonates with that state of being. And then that develops even a better state of being to where then something else happens. So in a way what happens is as these little things happen, as you give positive meaning to little things, what happens is you continue to create more and more of things that reflect that back to you. And that's why this wave of fortune is also considered a wave of success. So a wave of success is a very similar thing. It's the idea of momentum. Now, as long as you continue to focus in that positive way, as long as you continue to give positive meaning to certain things in your life, you will continue to experience more and more a reflection of that. Now think of it like this. Under reality transurfing, there's this awareness that there are an infinite number of parallel realities that exist. In the book, this is called the alternative space. At every moment that something happens, 
we have a decision to make as to whether we relate to that thing in a positive or a negative way. Think of a positive way as something that's integrative, that brings it into the process, that makes it malleable. Think of negative as anything that brings and separates you from the process, that makes you feel disconnected from the process or disconnected to yourself. It's important because when we think of negative and positive, we normally think of bad and good. Instead, think of connective and segregative or disconnective. That'll make it a lot easier to understand this decision-making process, but in that moment, if we relate to the situation in a positive way, we increase our state of being, and then the next thing we experience will be a reflection of that perspective. Now, on the other side of that, if something happens and you give it a negative meaning, you can then create where it lessens your state of being, you decrease how you feel, and then you get a reflection of that. This is why what is so important with reality transurfing is understanding how you feel in the present moment. How are you relating to the outer circumstances? Because if you choose that things in your life are going to be positive, then guess what? Things will be positive. Things will start to turn out for you because you've switched the way that you think about it and then you've started to be the way that you actually prefer to be. So this has to do with that awareness and that when you start to change your state and start to be who you choose to be, that amazing things will begin to happen because you are taking control of your state and your state of being will influence every other area of your life. Now in the same way that there is a wave of fortune or a wave of success, there is also the opposite of that. You can think of that as a downward spiral and that has to do with focus and meaning. So maybe you've seen this a lot where people have things that happen in their life and they give it a negative meaning and things just keep happening like that. That's because of the focus and the, in a way, the life, the life momentum that is going on. If they were to change their focus or allow the moment to be, they would let go of resistance and they could then start to focus more on something that was neutral or start to focus on something that would actually be beneficial for them. So this wave of fortune is something that I found to be one of the most powerful things I've ever experienced in my life because I give positive meaning to things in my life. And that's something that we talk a lot about in the program. We talk a lot, we do exercises that help you to create a wave of fortune. There's certain exercises and intention exercises that will help you to literally start to be in the energy state of that wave of fortune so that you create what you want more easily than ever. And that's something that it can be done if focused on. Now, the second reality transurfing idea that will totally transform your life is one I've talked about before and it's something I have to talk about because it's the most powerful one that I have found in correlation to energy state than anything else. Wave of fortune is about momentum. Decreased importance is about balance of how you feel in correlation to what you are experiencing. Now, decreased importance has to do with how we view our goals, how we view ourselves, and how we view anything we're focused on. If what we're focused on, we put on a pedestal and we make it very important, we create the potential for resistance. Anytime we put something on a pedestal, we immediately separate ourselves from it, and because we're saying this is very, very important, we give it what is called excess potential, because we've given it excess meaning. And anytime we give something excess meaning or excess potential, what we do is these balancing forces come into play to neutralize that energy. So the key to this is being aware of what we're making very important. What are some examples of that? Uh, examples of decreased importance, the easiest one you could probably think of is anytime you had somebody you had a crush on and you really like them and you're really hoping things go really well, you're hoping they really text you back, you really want to be around them and you really want things to go well. Well, because you really want that and because it's very important that it does go well, you create the potential for resistance. And what'll happen is either that person will feel that off of you and maybe they don't become as attracted or circumstances just come into play that make it so it doesn't work out. Either way, that's the excess potential that's coming into play that makes it so that it has to neutralize. If you give something too much meaning in this way, anytime you give something too much meaning, you then have this negative right here that then this balancing forces have to come into play to neutralize it. And the neutralization is over here. Neutralization is about observation. It's about observing, seeing it as natural. When you don't bring your self image along, you create excess meaning. 
if it is natural for you to attract the person that you want, if it is natural for you to make a certain amount of money or to uh, be doing what you love for a living, if it is natural, it's more neutral. It's a part of who you are. But if it's very, very, very important, it's not who you are because you don't see yourself as worthy of it. So that's another something that we learn in the program. We learn exactly how to decrease a level of importance. We do exercises that you can apply towards literally anything that will help you to resonate with your desires in a very powerful way. So decreasing desire has also transformed my life. I've realized that a lot of my goals in my life that I've had, I made them very important. I made them outside of myself. I said, though, that's over there. And it's really important that this happens a certain way. What I did is I started to become more present to the moment and I started to see it as a part of my self image for me to achieve my goals. It's just a natural part of who I am. And as I've started to more so connect to that, guess what? Things happen more easily than ever because it is natural. It is authentic to who I am. Now the third part and the third concept that can totally transform your life has to do with understanding something called outer intention. Now, outer intention is something that I'm gonna do my best to explain right now. Now, let's talk about intention in general. Intention in general is a focus, is an outcome. Think of it like there's an infinite number of parallel realities that exist, and when you have an intention, you are moving and you are focused on certain potentials coming into your life experience. Now, in general, if you start to set more intentions in your life, you will start to transform your life in a powerful way. It's about setting that intention and then moving in that direction. Now, there's two types of intention. There is inner intention and outer intention. Inner intention is the one you're probably familiar with. This is the one I've taught my channel for a long time, especially in the beginning. It's all about taking action. It's all about willing yourself. Inner intention is the inner drive to do the process for you to achieve something. This is like the solar plexus of our achievements. It's what we can actually do. It's like the Gary Vaynerchuk type mentality and it can work and it has worked for me, but there is an even more powerful process to this than just the inner intention. The vocabulary of inner intention is I intend that. I intend the process and I intend to do this to get this result. And in a way it's like the outcome is outside of ourselves. Outer intention is much more powerful and outer intention has to do with the awareness that what you want to experience exists right now. Inner intention is I am here and I want to be here. Outer intention is this is the intention, this is the goal, and it exists right now. And instead of me moving from here with inner intention to here, I am just going to have this and I'm gonna embody that frequency, that resonance, that vibration right now in the present moment with the awareness that everything exists here and now, so it brings in the quantum physics of understanding time dynamics. Time is just perception, it doesn't even really exist. And what we learn to do is we learn to embody that presence and that state of being right now. So the vocabulary of inner intention is I intend that that over there and I intend that I will get over there with my will. The vocabulary of outer intention is that it turns out that this is already my experience. I am already this. Now, this is another part of the process. We are all connected. There's an electromagnetic energy field around our body and our intention, our momentum is constantly having this energy field speed up or lessen depending on our state of being. Now, because we're all connected, when we align ourselves to helping other people, we start to tap into outer intention. This is one of the reasons my YouTube channel has grown as much as it has because every intention I have in a video is to add value to other people more so than anything else, even more so than the growth. I want to add value as to the most amount of people possible because I have this pure intention because I have this intention to help other people that is connecting to the outer intention of me to other people to the inner intention of other people, but it's outer of me. And because that resonates with many people, hundreds of thousands of people, it's then helping them that comes back to me in a powerful way because I'm tapping into the outer potential of the universe. The, from a certain perspective, since I'm doing my passion, the universe wants me to do this because I am helping raise the awareness to people. So it's this awareness that when we start to tap into, changes everything. In the same way you want to attract someone into your life, that person wants to attract you into their life. 
That's not in you. That's someone out there from perceptual point of view at the deepest level, we're all connected. However, when you become aware of that, you start to tap into this new type of energy. Now, this new type of energy can totally transform the way you go about the whole process because you start to get outside of the ego and you start to let the universe work for you. That is something else that we focus on in the Reality Transurfing Academy. And I show you exactly how to create outer intention in an easy way so that the universe starts to attract for you rather than you having to do everything in your life. Now there's another part of this whole process. This is like a little bonus. It's understanding something called pendulums. Pendulums are these thought forms that exist because our thoughts have an electromagnetic type reality. Now think of pendulums like social conditioning. There are people that whether you think you are a Republican or Democrat, if you have thoughts of either and you identify with them, those are each pendulums. If you want certain sports teams to win, those are each pendulums because there's a lot of people, there's millions of people thinking the same thing. And then that develops momentum to where you may feel emotion when you think those things, thinking it's your own emotion, but it may be the emotion of the pendulum. Now, most people live their life being banged around around these thought forms, around these pendulums. But another thing we do is what we can do is start to take our power back and to be authentic to who we are and to create our own life experience by taking our power back by not being in the autopilot mind. That is something else that will totally transform your life with Reality Transurfing, and that is one of the main focuses of the Reality Transurfing Academy, is learning how to be more authentic, to let go of the momentum of this social conditioning, of really being who you choose to be, not what everyone else wants you to be, and when you get to the core of what that is, everything in your life will begin to change. So these are the three, three and a half ideas, including the pendulums, ideas that I think can totally transform your life. One of them having a wave of fortune, creating that wave of fortune so that you start to develop powerful momentum in your life, understanding how to decrease the level of importance so that you resonate with the desires that you have, and then creating outer intention so that the universe manifests for you in a very powerful way. Those are all things I show you exactly how to do and the Reality Transurfing Academy. And if you wanna check that out today, go ahead and click the link in the top of the description box. The price will go up after Friday, and you can do that. It's a month to month thing. You can cancel at any time, but I think that if you stay, you will completely transform your life, and it will help you to become the best version of you and to create from a much higher paradigm. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Feel free to like this video. If you guys like it, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next vid. Peace, much love, and namaste.